morning, everyone. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. I'm Tracy Steen. Okay, this is a beginner workout. We're targeting the total body today. I'm gonna do some cardio and some strength, okay, a little bit of everything. And the format is gonna be 40 seconds of work, 15 seconds in between. This will be a no repeat workout, so each exercise is only once. I'm gonna list the dumbbells that I'm using after each exercise at the top of the screen. You can take a look here, and those are the dumbbells that I'll use for this session. Now, always lift within your own abilities, okay? So go lighter and always work your way up. That's the best way to go about it because you wanna be able to show up again tomorrow. I'm gonna to start you with a warm up. We'll end with a cool down. Are you ready to move daily in this total body workout? Me too, let's do it. Okay, I think I will put in high intensity intervals. Even though it's not gonna be high intensity, it is an interval, cardio strength, cardio strength. And of course, it could be high intensity depending on your fitness level. I will do low impact on all of those cardio moves. You could kick it up though. And uh, yeah, that would make a nice little interval session with high intensity if you wish. But this is labeled beginner workout, so I'm gonna lift as I would help a beginner work out as a trainer. So that's kind of what I have in my mind here, which is nice to do a little bit of everything and not to overtax any one muscle specifically. That's the name of the game. Again, you're gonna get volume in your week if you can show up again tomorrow. So think about that as you move through this workout, okay? Last one here. Good, let's do a single side circle. And switch your direction. Switch sides. And directions. Let's put our hands together here, elbows together. Push the ceiling and down. Last one here. And arms out to the side. One behind the head, one behind the back. And switch, reach and stretch. Good. I'm waking up all those ligaments and joints here. Two more. Okay, let's take it wide in the stance. Hand to toe tap. If you can't touch your toe, tap your knee, tap your shin. Warm in the hamstrings and lower back up here. A little glute as well. Good, holding on to something. I want a slight forward lean, foot is flexed. We're gonna do a leg extension. You've got 15 on each side. All right, here's five, 10 more here. And switch legs. Knee is soft, foot is flexed, and back. Five more on this side. Good, let's reach across, tap it out, stretching through those lats. Reach overhead, stretch, that's it. And finishing right here, pivot on your toe. Oh, 
All right, here we go. There's the first few exercises. We're starting with cardio. All right, cardio, let's start off with two knees, two jacks, okay, right there. Of course, again, you could kick this up, high impact. I'm gonna stick with low. You're here in between if you don't need a break. Two knees, one, two, and jack, one, two. Go your pace. I might be faster or slower than you, that's okay. You're just going your pace to the timer, okay? We're gonna move into some squats. Now you don't have to hold any weights. I think I'll just hold five pound dumbbells. Suitcase squat, feet are shoulder width apart. Shoulders are back. You're thinking of pushing your feet apart on the floor. So we drop and stand. Now, you hate squats or you can't do squats, grab a chair and sit down and stand up. That's a great way to support the knees a little bit more and of course, it's a natural action that you have to do for the rest of your life, so it's a good one to be functional at. But a lot of us can squat, so we're doing it. Really think of reaching your hips back. Okay, shoulders stay back, chin is nice and neutral. Back into cardio. One, two, three, elbow to knee, like a grapevine, here. Step behind and here. Stay moving if you don't need the rest. One, two, three, knee, that's it. Going into a little upper body here. I'm gonna grab my eight pound dumbbells for my bent over row hammer curl. We hinge forward, we row, stand and curl. All right, hinge, row, full stand, then you hit that hammer curl, elbows are close to your sides. And pull. I want you to think of retracting the shoulder blades at the top of the row and squeezing your biceps at the top of the hammer curl. Squeeze, good, hinge. It's a hinge pattern at the waist. Reach your hips back. Last one here. Back into cardio. And we're gonna go with a butt kick. So we're gonna do a front punch, side punch, right there, okay. Little mind and arm combination here. <laughs> I always mess up on things like this. It's a lot to think about. Dual actions. All right, you wanna kick it up a little bit without the hopping, you can duck. Okay, bend that knee. Increases our tension on the legs, which kicks up the heart rate. Let's do a very light weight, so twos, threes, or maybe even no weight for your pec deck press. Squeezing together, pressing over the chest. Start right here. We squeeze and press. Good, I've got threes here. 
And if that is too challenging on the press, since you're fighting gravity, stay with the pec deck right here, okay? Think of dropping those shoulders low away from your ears. Into cardio. Okay, let's do a cardio kick. So we're gonna do a kick with the leg right there, front punch. Shoulders back, and here, let's go. Okay, single side tricep extension or crossover. I'll hold a five, I'll call halfway. You're gonna come across and then you're gonna straighten and flex at the top. All right, knees are soft. You're here and press. Here, press. Good, try not to lean. Keeping that wrist locked and neutral. The wrist isn't bending back here. One more on this side. Switch your arm and work back flex. So you're thinking about this tricep muscle, straightening and flexing, slow and controlled. Okay, four seals two T-Rex, so four taps here. You can stay here if you don't wanna do the squat, otherwise we're dropping side to side. Four and two, one, two, three, four, drop it low and low. One more strength before our water break. Again, going to your wall, we're gonna do a longer period of that leg extension here, okay? So hinge at the waist, knee is soft, I'll call half. Straight leg extension and up. Good. Now, not too high, you don't wanna arch the back. We're just working that glute, up that glute medius at the top there a little. You should feel some burn on your static leg, your stationary leg as well. All right, switch sides and up. Core is engaged, shoulders are back. Good, 10 more seconds here. Three, two, and there we go. All right, little water rest. You may pause the video if you need a longer break. Otherwise, take a look at the screen. That's what's coming up next. We're going into our broad step, three taps back. Stay nice and low on that tap back. You could jump if you wish and jack back. That's the high impact. I'm gonna step, here we go. Big step and then we tap, tap, tap. That's it. So you're stopping yourself in motion. That's the name of the game here, okay? Forward movement, recruiting those quad muscles to stop you.
I'm alternating my front step, different sides each time. Okay, back into strength. Go in again with those eight pound dumbbells. This time we'll hit a wide row bicep curl. We're hinging, pull to 90, then turn and curl to the top. Hinge, so we pull, turn all the way standing up before you hit that curl. Wide row, turn and curl. Elbows are in on their curl. Don't let them migrate out. And again, I want you to think of pulling the shoulder blades together at the top of that pull. Strengthening middle back, rear delts, or back shoulder. Back into cardio. Front kick, back kick. So one, two, back, one, two. All right, tap here. Stay tall. Here we go, one, two, back, one, two. Grabbing light weights again, twos or threes. Plie wide press, so plie wide press. You can eliminate the plie if you want and just hit the shoulders. Otherwise, together, drop it low, wide. That's it, here. Now I see a lot of people forward leaning like this on a plie, stay tall. Okay, and if it's only a little bit, that's fine too. A little pulse. Work within your own abilities here. And into cardio. Back to the knees. One, two, three, four, and frog, and frog. Stick with the high knees if you don't want to squat. Four, three, two, one, two frogs. Grabbing those light weights, twos or threes here. Lateral front raise. So, out to the side and then up to the front. Alternating, shoulders back. Here and front. Take your time. I don't want you to swing at the bottom. The dumbbells come to that dead stop. And in between each, you stick your chest out. You soften the knees. And you stick your chest out so that your shoulders don't shrug, okay? And so that you're not using your lower back to lift the weights. Let's go into some ice skater tap. You can jump these, of course. I'm going to step, tap behind. I want you to tap behind and bring the elbow into alignment here. Okay, here we go. This makes you more tippy. 
and you have to rely on that core, on your stabilizer muscles in your legs or that eccentric phase of the muscle contraction and stop yourself. This is important because if you fall to the diagonal, I want you to be able to catch yourself and have those muscles available to you. Is your back flat? Stick your chest out. Full stop. Don't move until you're stationary. Lovely. Okay, let's go into some pinwheel curls. Fives, eights, or tens. I will use tens because you're crossing across the body. Probably one of the strongest lifts in the bicep region. So we cross, flex at the top, now alternate. Wrists are locked in neutral. That's it. All right, it's climbing, hey? You getting sweaty? <laughs> Me too. Who knew? Good. Now I'll see a lot of people bend their wrist here. You can't do that. You're gonna get carpal tunnel if you do, or tennis elbow. Keep the weight in the meaty part of your palm. Don't let it migrate to your fingertips. Flex at the top. Squeeze, that's it. Let's go back into cardio. Okay, straight jacks. So you can increase the depth or intensity of the jack by squatting or stay here. I'm gonna squat low and up, low and up. Go into a standing ab. You're gonna take it wide. You're gonna plie down. We're gonna crunch and center and crunch. You can stay standing if you don't want to plie. Hands are here. Side, center, side, center. And if this burns your legs for a bit, you're here. Stand up, stand. Water rest coming in 10 seconds. And then we're gonna make our way down to the ground for a few exercises, okay? So you can meet me down there. <sighs> Shake it out, grab a drink. Let's take a look at the screen, see what dumbbells you're gonna need for that, those exercises. And let's make our way to the ground for this last good push. We're gonna start with, I'm gonna start with 10 pound dumbbells for my wide, narrow chest press. Okay, start wide, turn narrow. Elbows at 90 degrees. So you're gonna start wide, turn and face. Come back to wide, turn and face. Good, look at your wrists. They should be locked in neutral. And you're gonna keep the dumbbells over your chest. Okay, not your head or face. I want you to think of squeezing the pecs at the top. So kind of flexing that armpit area. And put your mind in your chest when you're pressing in this way too. You want to think of the chest muscles pushing the weight up. We'll stay down here for cardio. Okay, set the weights down. I'm going to go into mountain climbers. If you can't do this from your wrists, Feel free to hold a plank from the elbows or stand and do jumping jacks, that's fine as well. Otherwise, here, and we tap and tap. That's it.
Push up through the shoulder blades. And back to your back. That was a long 40 seconds, wasn't it? <laughs> My least favorite exercise. Tricep extensions, I'll hold fives. Go lighter if you need. All right, just bending at the elbow, palms facing. And we bend back, watch your head, flex at the top. Back and push, nice. Your shoulder should not be moving, okay? It's just the elbow joint on this exercise. It's a very isolated tricep exercise. That's your dominant muscle that's working here. Okay, one more of those tappity taps. This time we're gonna tap to the side. Okay, so a plank tap. Again, stand and do jacks if you don't like this plank position. Bum down and we tap and tap. Good, little taps to the side. Of course, you could just hold a plank. All right, this is a more challenging move. So I understand if you wanna stand, that's totally fine. Or take a rest for this uh, 40 seconds. That's good as well. not a lot of cardio exercises from the ground that are gonna kick your heart rate up that aren't a lot of popping and jumping, so I wanted this low impact. Alas, here we are. We're gonna flip over one more time. Okay, let's go into an ab move for our ab muscles here again. Into the heel drop, so up on your elbows, alternating heels. You could lie on your back and tap your heels there as well. We tap, bring it back. Very good. If this hurts hip flexors, feel free to lie on your back. Just crunch, all right? Lots of variations. You just have to listen to your body. Remember, you need to show up again tomorrow. So this is just a general workout. You've got to be the Sherlock Holmes of your own body and figure out what is best for you though. Okay, it's going to be different for everyone. So pay attention to those signals. Very nice. I'm going to give you a longer time to stand up here just in case you're dizzy. We're going to go right into cardio. Make sure the weights are not in your way so you don't trip. All right, last little push coming up. We're going to go back into that ice skater diagonal ice skater this time. So you're gonna step tap, step tap. I'm gonna go backwards on the way back, but you could turn around if you don't wanna walk backwards. Hinge forward, knees are soft. We step tap, step tap to the diagonal. But comes behind if you can. Now turn around or backwards. Good. Take your time here. Come to a full stop, full stop, so that your body's in control before you step off. Grabbing my five pound dumbbells for a curl press. Elbows are in, we're gonna bicep curl, shoulder press, and then all the way back down. And we curl, press, and down. That's it. Don't swing at the bottom. Good. 
Into your basketballers. All right, so a nice little side shuffle. You can stay tall or you can drop low. Once you get to the end, squat and shoot the basketball. Here we go. So you're low, low, low squat and shoot or high tap squat and shoot or just shoot. Up to the tiptoes if you can. Boom, up, boom. Good. Stay tall on your back. Don't bend forward. You want to drop your glutes. I'm going back to those five pounders, but you could go twos or threes. We're gonna do a high pull to W. So here, and then into that W, slow and controlled. Here we go, and we lift down, W and slow. All right, last exercise here. My heart's ticking, I'm sure yours is as well. Doing well, last 10 seconds. Stay with me in three, two, one and done. You move daily in your total body. Cardio, strength, no repeat circuit. That was fun, I guess it wasn't a circuit because that goes around. No repeat workout. Join me for a stretch if you can. Well done everyone. Let's make our way to the ground for our stretch component here. Lengthening through everything. Nice work. I'm gonna start with a little circles on the back, grabbing those knees. Okay, good. Heart rate was elevated, which I like to do in the morning. Have a good sweat session. Let's extend one leg and hold one knee, stretching that SI joint, your hip flexor. Do you stretch your hip flexors? Do you work your hip flexors? They should be stretched, lengthened, and then also trained. <laughs> Okay, so doing things like high knees, switch sides, uh, are great to do. Even things like a flutter kick here, right? That also works well for the hip flexor. Um, you can put a mini band, uh, like a really light resistance band around your toes and then kind of do a marching movement or high knees. Let's let the legs together, fall to one side, keep your shoulders on the ground, stretch that torso. Yeah, I follow the knees over toes guy. And, you know, for years and years, people were like, don't put your knees over your toes. And that's how we were trained, actually getting certified as a personal trainer. But then he, he really did such a wonderful job of debunking a lot of the, the pseudoscience or old data that was showing that that hindered knees. And really, he sort of created a protocol that says to reverse out knee pain, we've got to sort of do things backwards and train the parts of the body that are actually going to help in, improve your knee health. Um, let's go into glute stretch. One of those things is training the tibialis anterior, your shin, and then your calves as well. And so walking backwards is the perfect way to do that. And I absolutely love it. I do it outside all of the time on my walks. We have a lot of hills where I live, switch sides. So it works ideal on hills. But if you don't have a hill, you can do it, you know, with a partner who maybe you're holding a band on one end and you're walking backwards and the partner is putting tension so it's harder for you to walk backward. That's another way to do it. Um, but it's, it's, um, it's incredible how much you, you're targeting the tibialis anterior, that shin muscle, and your quads. And you feel it. You're like, that is substantial. And why am I not training that area more? Because it's strengthening these muscles that surround the knee which is super helpful to improve knee health. Plus, you're strengthening the calf and the shin muscle, which is your first place of impact. So when you put your foot down, you know, those are the things that are, are targeted. And so often, well, when we walk forward all the time, so we get a lot of calf 
an extension, but we don't get a lot of that backward movement where it really targets the tibialis. So he's very much about training that area and he's got a ton of different protocols that you can do to help strengthen the knees. So, um, and he has his like 60, whatever, seven year old mother doing all of these things like front lunging, knees over toes lunging, step downs, um, like off of a stair or a step, backward walking. Anyway, I love it. I think it's brilliant. And I encourage people to use his protocols if they have knee trouble. But even if you just want to avoid knee pain, which is me, I've never had bad knees, which is why in my advanced workouts, I'm lunging and hopping and jumping and squatting all the time. But I know a lot of people have had injuries or they've had knee issues for other reasons. And the thing is, is that a lot of people can improve or reverse out their knee pain. And to me, that's, that's pretty good news, I tell ya. <laughs> Stretch across here. Because you wanna be able to get down on the ground and up with no pain, right? You wanna be able to walk stairs without pain because those are functional activities that you're gonna to need to do for the rest of your life. And if you can't do them, that's not good. <laughs> we wanna be able to have that functionality and a good range of motion. I do. I want to, when I have grandkids one day, if I do, if I'm lucky enough, I want to be able to get right down on the ground and, you know, just hang out <laughs> and then get back up again by myself. <laughs> That's a target. That's a goal. Okay. Stretch, walk, walk, walk. Thanks for joining everyone. Go move daily in your wellness and nutrition. Don't forget, we do have our membership, which has a full beginner stream in it. So lots of workout schedules just for you. Thanks for joining. You can click your tap there and I'll see ya in the next workout.